have you used rest templates and have you used messaging queues do you know why you use messaging queues and why you use rest templates and where do we use them Gaurav has asked me a question on when to use the messaging queues like Kafka and when should they go for direct rest templates let's see when to use that as an example Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. Let's take the stock price viewer project which I had created as a part of the designing microservices example. So I had created an architecture diagram which we followed and we designed every part of this particular architecture. In this particular example, I had directly used the REST template. I did not use any Kafka queues because it is all straightforward uh, synchronous request and I wanted the response immediately to be pushed back to the UI or retrieved back to the UI. So that is the answer for the question where when do I need to use REST template when I want to have my request to be synchronous I can use REST templates. If I need to use messaging queues I will use them when I need to have a batch processing system. So let's say I create a request and that till that request point it could be a synchronous message and once the request is completed if i am processing some files or if i am processing some sequence of messages using some events then i can go for queues so in case of kafka when we will go for kafka is when you want to have multiple publishers and you want to split the load or partition the load of the batch processing system into different partitions that is when you go for kafka or else you can directly go for any active MQ or any uh, messaging queue, JMS, Rabbit MQ or any, any uh, messaging queue which is available in your phone. But you go for Kafka only when you have batch processing system which are huge and you want to use uh, Apache Spark or Apache Storm or something like that. You can use Kafka in that case when you want to partition the data and then process them in a sequence. So you can use the um, Kafka topics when you have batch processing systems if you don't have batch processing systems and you want to have a straight through processing then you can use rest rest calls i'm not saying that you cannot use that you can use kafka topics here but you won't yield the full benefits of the kafka queue until or unless you do partition and then process the message right if you have very minimal message don't go for uh, kafka because it will be useful when you are processing huge amount of data you are when you are processing huge amount of events that is when kafka um, queues are useful if you have very minimal number of requests and very minimal number of flows then you can directly go for rest calls right so that is when um, you decide what to use so you can either use kafka or you can use rest so you can check out my video on kafka what is kafka um, i have explained what is kafka so you can check uh, that uh, that's it. I wanted to cover. Um, I just wanted to answer what um, Gaurav had asked. If you have any similar question, I can answer that. Uh, this is a new series which I have created where I wanted to answer each and every of your question by making a video so that you are able to understand. Because if I make a Q&A video, I don't think everyone will be able to get the sense of it because the description might be different because I might be answering more questions. But uh, I'll make small, small videos um, so that I'm able to answer each and every one of your questions. So I hope uh, that answered Gaurav's question. So if you have any queries, do drop that in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet again in the next video. Thank you very much.